So you learned how to code and make games and now you want to start your career as a game developer but you don't know how to do it. Well I'm going to give you a few tips what you need to do, what I think is the best way to stand out in comparison to others but before I say anything about that I want to point out that this is for the people who truly have learned how to code and make games and know their stuff. What do I mean by this? Well, let me tell you through an example. Before some time I wanted to hire somebody to do some work for me and a couple of guys applied for the job and when I interviewed one of them I was like, okay man, what can you do? And he's like, well I finished programming college for four years. And I was like, okay, but what can you do? And he's like, again, he repeated the same thing. Okay, I finished college, but okay if I tell you can you build this and this application or this and this game and I give you that assignment, can you do that for me because this is what I need? And he's like, well man, you know, I need some practice. And I'm like, sorry man, but I don't have time to, you know, provide you that practice. I need somebody who can get the job done right now. So don't be that guy. Does this mean that I'm bashing college degrees? No, I'm not. You can finish college, you can finish a bootcamp or be self-taught, I don't care, but you're job ready. You know your stuff, you know how to code and make games. Just, be, don't, just don't be that guy who's like, well, I need practice, but you apply for the job. No, you're confident that you can do it and then you apply for the job. Does this mean that you need to know absolutely everything? No, you don't. And I will get to it in a moment. But first things first, the number one thing, and that's the last thing that you need to do when it comes to standing out and starting your career as a game developer, you simply need to get yourself out there. What does that mean? Well, you finish college or you finish a bootcamp or you're self-taught, you learn for one year, two years, it doesn't matter. You need to stand out in front of the other people online. And the best way to do that is by leveraging social media. For our programmers, the best social media in quotes to leverage is Stack Overflow. So be consistent and be active on Stack Overflow because some companies will ask you for your Stack Overflow profile and even for a GitHub profile. So these are the two things that you should definitely need to have, you know, like create a Stack Overflow profile and answer questions in your branch or in your topic. Doesn't matter if it's game development or not. I'm talking about start a career as a game developer, but this is also for other programmers. So start answering questions in C Sharp if you're doing Unity, for Unity as well, Unreal if you're doing Unreal, C++ for Unreal, so on and so forth, you get the point, but be active over there. That will show the company or where you're applying for a job, that you're active, that you know your stuff, that you know what you are doing and also have projects to showcase. This is number one thing. So have projects to showcase, put them on GitHub, preferably I love to create a website or I'm advising people and my students to create a website because having a website will show that you are a pro, you know, like you look, look like a professional You're just like, oh, go on GitHub and click on that project. No, you're like, go on my website, www.fahir.com and you will see all my projects and they're sorted out nicely. The, the website doesn't have to be beautiful, 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 just navigate, navigable and clear for the person who is looking that website. So that will make you stand out in front of others because a lot of people don't do this. Another step further that you can do is create a YouTube channel. And I talk about this a lot and people, I don't know, for some reason people don't take this seriously, but I, I really think that every developer should have a YouTube channel. Should you create tutorials like I do? If you wish so, you can, but you don't have to, but just showcase your projects, man. You're working currently on a game, showcase it. You know, like create a short video, maybe a time-lapse. You have time-lapse videos, examples on my channel, how I create them. You know, those videos go viral, a couple of thousand views, which is really nice. You get eyeballs on that. And also when you create videos like that and post them on YouTube, later on, if you apply for a job, you can also leverage that you can like, show the YouTube channel and look at, you know, like directly, how am I doing things, how I'm explaining what I did, what I changed, what I implemented, what are my ideas, so on and so forth. And not only that, but a lot of people will hit you up, believe me, for those of you guys who don't want to, for example, work in a company, but you want to be a freelancer, a lot of people will hit you up offering you jobs to some short freelance jobs that you can earn like 200, 300 bucks in one hour, two hours, you know, like fixing something in his project, maybe doing some short tweak, maybe whatever it is. Sometimes you will even get full 
job offers to create a full game or a full application. I get those a lot just by having a YouTube channel. So that's also one of the ways that you can start your career as a game developer. Should you leverage social media like Facebook, Instagram? You can, but I would stick to these three, Stack Overflow, GitHub and YouTube. Well, GitHub is not social media, but for your projects and so on and so forth. Of course, as I said, you can leverage Instagram and Facebook, but you cannot showcase your project that much on those platforms. But these two, like Stack Overflow and and your YouTube channel, as well as, as well as your website, this is the way to go because Again, don't be that guy who applies for a job and then, you know, like you don't have nothing to showcase. You just have to, you know, you just have your college degree, college diploma or your boot camp degree, whatever, to showcase to the potential employer. Now, going back to the first question when I when I said I will come to it, that is, do you need to know everything when you apply for a job? No, you don't. If you see a job where it says you need two years of experience, you need to know, for example, you need to know C++ and C Sharp. If you are confident that you know C Sharp very well, and it doesn't matter that you don't have two years of experience, apply for that job. It doesn't matter that you don't know C++ because if you're good at C Sharp, often these companies look for three in one, you know, like that coffee three in one, they look for a developer who can do three things. But if you can do one, they will be satisfied. You know, just apply, you don't have nothing to lose. Just showcase the projects. As I just talked about a moment ago, how to put yourself out there by using Stack Overflow, your website and YouTube, and just showcase your projects. Tell them, I don't know C++ very well. I'm very good and I'm very fluent in C Sharp, but I'm also a quick learner. So it can take me a month or two to learn C++ and I can fulfill your needs with that language as well. So this is what I meant. Do you need to know everything? No, you don't. And do you have to have that same experience that the companies are looking for? Because the companies are not the ones who are posting those jobs. Companies go to HR or whatever those people are called and they are the ones who, they are the people who actually post those jobs. And oftentimes they have no idea what they are searching for. They're just, you know, rambling things and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, this is what I mean by that. But on the flip side, don't be the guy who just finishes college, doesn't have any project, a real one that you created outside of the college. So outside of college and you're like applying for a job, you're like, oh, I have a college degree. Nobody's gonna hire you and teach you how to work because you went four years to college and they're expecting for you to have that experience or to know how to get the job done that they need. That was in my case, that, that is in, mo in most cases because, you know, I need something done right now. I don't have time to teach you how to do it. If I have time to teach you, I would do it my, on my own. So these are my three tips, like use Stack Overflow, use your website in combination with GitHub, or simply if you have downloadable links on your website where you can you know, like click and download your games or your projects and showcase them and also leverage YouTube. So while you are learning, you can start doing these things. Don't wait until you finish college. Don't wait for four years to start doing these things. Don't wait for a year or two, depending on how long your bootcamp is to start doing these things. Start doing them right away. Or even if you're self-taught, it doesn't matter. Don't wait until you finish learning. Just start doing these things right away and Fill them as you go. So as you go, answer questions on Stack Overflow for the things that you know and you're sure that you know. Also, start putting out projects that you already did, no matter how small they are. If you have projects published online, for example, on Google Play Store, iOS Store, make sure that you link them on your website. Also, on YouTube, you can start publishing things that you already did. Simply short explanations. I said, you don't have to do tutorials like I did, but short explanations, I did this today in my game, I changed this, yada, 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 you get the point. If you do these things correctly, and by correctly, I mean consistently, Believe me, by the time, if you're starting today, so if this is your day one, starting to learn how to code and make games, by the day that you finish, be that day 500, 600, 700, doesn't matter, you will stand out in front of everybody else who didn't do these things. And most developers don't do these things. Most developers, especially beginners, they just finished college or bootcamp and apply for a job. You're going to crush those people in comparison or when they compare you to. 
when I say you two, I mean the, that guy and you with your projects, with your website, with your stack overflow in comparison to the guy who just finished college. You're going to crush them and blow them away. I know that was the case with me. It will be the case for you. As I said, I get job offers without even, you know, contacting people just because I'm present online with my YouTube channel, my website, so on and so forth. I don't want to stall anymore. I know you're bored. You're like, oh, teacher, dear God, what he's doing? <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, if you want to check out my Ultimate Game Development Academy, link will be in the description below. And Fahir here from awesomedudes.com. I will see you guys in the next video.